Have you heard? Sprint Vector. That's right. This game is by Servios, the people who made Raw Data, and they made this game. It's like an athletic running game. Sprint Vector. I've never played it yet. We're gonna learn how right now. We're jumping in. Tutorial. Okay, tutorial. We've got some banging music. Let's check it out. Let's get you moving. To skate, first hold your hand out in front of you and hold the trigger button. Next, swing your arm fully backwards and release the button along the way to push your body forward. Let's see if you can make it down to the end of the track. Okay. You can alternate your arm swings just like running. Remember to release the trigger. Excellent. Like that, now that you right? can skate, yeah. you should be able to make it to the end of any racetrack. Skate Turning is trigger. simple. Gotcha. You sprint in the direction well, you, you were looking. Hand? It helps to turn your body so you're facing the direction that you want to go. The finish line is right around the corner. Change you your can body make to it. Change direction. If you want to turn, you have to turn your body to face the direction you want to go. Okay, okay, it's not too bad, it's pretty awesome. good. Oh, now guess. you can turn and follow oh, the curves of our hard. tracks. <laughs> we can do this. Once you start racing in Sprint Vector, you'll be able to move at extreme speeds. While skating, the more effort you put into sprinting, the faster you'll go. To make it past these gaps, you'll need to be going pretty fast. You'll okay. have to sprint to make it to the end. I like seeing how he's like that. Oh yeah. The more physical effort and speed you put into your arm movements, the faster you'll go. Great job! <laughs> now that you know how to sprint at high speeds, you should be able to keep pace with any racer. I'm not sure what those do. To break, just hold down both grip buttons and you'll come to a stop. Ah, this is break. Try you Now that you know how to break, remember that breaking can work on the ground and in the air. Breaking in the air will drop you towards the ground faster. Breaking in the air drops you to the ground faster. To jump, gotcha. first hold your hand out above your head and hold down the trackpad. The more effort you put into your swings, the higher you'll jump. Try swinging your arm harder to get a bigger leap. How do I, uh... To get um... the most power in your jump, You can jump twice. Give it a try. Some heights are too much for one jump. Don't worry if you can't make this one. Congratulations. Now you can jump over any obstacles along your way, even while moving at top speeds. I don't, I don't feel like I got jumping. Jumping down right. can also help you leap across vast gaps. Jumping is very flexible. Use it to your advantage. Oh, they made A jump, okay. You guys made Keep A trying. my trackpad. You'll need a good mix of both speed and ah, height to make it past these gaps. I got jumps gaps. now. Okay, guys. So if you're playing on the Oculus, playing on the Oculus, you need to know the A. A is your jump button. So you hold A and you swing down and it makes you jump. So you gotta use your triggers. So you get some speed, right? Spin around here. Some triggers to get some speed. While sprinting, Jump once and then immediately jump again for maximum height. Ah. Ooh. Gotcha. Now that you know how to jump while running. Woo! You made it across. With flying, you can conquer much further gaps than you normally would by just falling. Flying is pretty cool in the direction you want to go. Try to make it to the end by steering around the wall. To turn faster while flying, try lowering an arm and now that you know how to turn midair, you'll be able to better control yourself along a racetrack while flying. Simply pull yourself up by grabbing the green handles. To grab on, Hold the trigger button over the handle and your hand will snap to the nearest grabbable object. Try and climb to the top of these walls. Just reach out to the next handle. Grab them with the trigger button and pull yourself up to the next one. Good job. 
Now you can scale up climbable walls. You can also fling yourself up a wall to climb faster. To fling yourself, first grab a handle with the trigger button. Hold it above your head, and then throw it straight down to the floor. Release the trigger button on the way down. You can't slow climb these. Make it up the walls by fling fantastic. All right, all right. While you're like skating, this. hold both the trigger and trackpad down on either hand to drift in that direction. Try drifting continuously for three seconds. Try drifting for three seconds. Okay, hold trigger and trackpad. Get some speed drift. going, then hold down both the trackpad and trigger buttons on one hand to drift towards oh. that side. Oh. After you have some speed, you can make tighter turns by- If you want more practice, feel free to keep drifting around. When you want to leave, approach the screen at the center of the course. I don't think I'm doing it right. Gosh, that makes me kind of dizzy. Whoa, that got me dizzy. Just double tap the trigger button to blast your way out of this room. The glove blast can be used not only to interact with the While racing, you can also grab power-ups to temporarily someone with one, they won't be able to skate, jump, or climb until it wears off. Nitro will boost you to extreme speeds. Double tap to activate, then hold the trigger button to boost your speed. While Nitro is active, you don't need to keep sprinting. Use overdrive will remove the limits on your acceleration. Double tap the trigger to activate, and then start skating with all your might.
if I can join a game. Play against some pros. The slip mine will cause racers to slip and slide inside. 